So emergency services just making sure that he's secure before they bring him any further. I can guarantee you, as far as NYPD is concerned, this is a very serious matter. According to them, you know, he puts himself in danger and other people in danger by doing things like this. So that's how they're going to treat it. Nonetheless, uh, an amazing feat that this guy was actually able to climb the side of his building by hand like that. Uh, as he got, understandably, as he got closer to the top of the building, he was taking more and more frequent rests. I'm sure he did his homework on this building, looking it over and making sure that he'd actually be able to pull this off. The facade of this building, you can see it there over toward the right-hand part of your screen. It's more or less like a, an elaborate ladder in a way. Rung after rung. So it looks like now he's... Uh, it's hard to tell whether he was resisting police or not. It looks like he is resisting police at this point. And they're not about to uh, allow him to get away. So he's being cuffed. He'll be taken off, taken off to, uh, taken off to jail. So the French Spider-Man once again is in police custody. Those of you logged on or just logging on to MyFoxNY.com here, you're looking at live pictures from Skyfox HD. And I guess for at least the last 20 minutes or so, 20, I would say about 20 minutes, we have been following uh, the quote-unquote French Spider-Man as he climbed up the side of the New York Times building here at 620 8th Avenue. Untethered, by hand, he climbed the side of the building. A large skyscraper here in midtown Manhattan. And he has uh, made it to the top of the building safely without harm to himself or, as far as we know, anybody on the ground. Hundreds of people have gathered on 8th Avenue and some of the side streets here run, that run adjacent to the New York Times building, looking up for quite a while now, watching this all unfold. You can see that's him in the center part of your screen. He has made it to the top of the building where he has been brought into police custody. He sort of came around the facade of the building where he was very quickly met by a member of the emergency services, the NYPD elite unit of uh, the ones that perform these intricate rescues, if you can even call it that. Didn't look like he really needed to be rescued after just climbing that building. But he is now uh, in police custody. Thankfully, he is not injured, and as far as we know, nobody else has been injured. Maybe wondering why he did this. The reason why he did this is to bring attention to the issue of global warming and the environment. And he wants world leaders to take notice and take action. He's known for pulling stunts like this. He's done it before. And whether you agree with what he does and how he does it, he'll probably do it again. So that's that. He'll br they'll bring him uh, to the bottom of the building and no doubt bring him in for booking.